Let's get into sports now. My name is Robinson Okenye. Innocent to a full I ensured that Gormayas and beaten run in the league continued as his goal leveled matters in a three-all draw against Sofa Paka in a Kenya Premier League match played at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos. In an earlier encounter, Nakumat grabbed a 2-1 win over Task FC while, Thika, uh, while FC Leopards secured a 2-0 win over Thika United. Soccer Queens registered a two-all draw against Makolanda's FC in the Women's Premier League match. The four-goal thriller restricted both teams from moving up the log after each picked a point. Rotuno Kwanike reports. Match day 13 of the Women's Premier League came to a close on Sunday at the Gikambura Stadium in Kikuyu as Makolanda featured in a two-all draw against Soccer Queens. Nuru Hensley of Soccer Queens netted the first goal of the match during the opening hours of the first half, but luck came knocking for Makolanders as Christine Asuko equalized to end the first round in a 1-1 tie. The second half witnessed Makolanders FC step up their game. This is after Christine Nafula scored her side second, but four minutes later, Soccer Queens Esther Diramo netted the team's second goal to level the scores. We thought to get a winning game, but while we were win, we were not win. That's why we were we tough, but we were smart. To be honest, uh, we didn't like the draw because uh, looking at also uh, opportunities we had, especially in the second half, I think uh, we had more advantage. Both teams were unable to take a step up the ladder in the Women's Premier League log, with Makolanda's FC taking 10th place with 16 points and Soccer Queens taking 12th place with 15 points. With the game ending at a draw, this may be a slight hiccup for both teams who are eyeing the Women's Premier League title, but as the league is still young, both teams have an ambition, even as Soccer Queens look forward to meeting Thika Queens. Rotuno Konyike, KTN Sports. Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology basketball team secured a narrow 56-54 win over Mount Kenya University in the Kenya Basketball Federation Division I game played in Nairobi. Barclays Bank secured a 74-68 win over Strathmore University in overtime. Shoot! Shoot! The Kenya Basketball Federation Division I and Premier League games continued on Sunday at the United States International University in Nairobi. The early morning saw Mount Kenya University take on Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. Jake Watt secured a narrow 56 to 54 win over MKU. It was enjoyable, we had fun. It was a good experience too. The opponent were better, but we were the best team, so we emerged. And thanks to God for that. Jake Watt dominated the first three quarters, winning the first 11-10, then 17-15, heading into the break before registering an 18-7 score in the third quarter. A thrilling you, final team. period saw MKU General, score 22 uh, points to Jake Watt 10, game, but fell short at the end, losing the, the game one. by a single in basket. The whole you don't want to lose another game, because if you lose another one, it will take a huge toll on our place in the, yeah, in the fixtures. In other matches of the day, Barclays struggled to pick the pace of the game, losing the first two quarters 12-9 to and 14-9 to respectively, then winning quarter three and four to send the match to extra period. Elsewhere in the women's matches, Storm's basketball team beat Footprints 44-41 to as Strathmore University secured a 59-28 win over Eagle Wings with University of Nairobi beating Jake Ward 43-38.